Ebro in the morning. On Hot 97. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, back by popular demand and because his new label requires it, we have <laughs> Wale in the building. Come on. Come on. Damn. Come on, just because he wasn't even near the microphone doesn't this mean he can't clap. This reception needs more cowbell. <laughs> more cow. Big boy. Um, <laughs> Wale, how are you, bro? I'm good. Can we start with the official? I congratulated you, I believe, on uh, the phone, but can I congratulate you on the new deal with Warner Brothers? Yeah. yeah thank congratulations. you. Congratulations. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, let's talk M's. How yeah. much money are they putting in your pocket? Um, I got to pay my college debt and uh, get my car washed. Oh, nice. Got a car washed? Yeah. Got some new... new I don't even own a car. You don't own a car at all? Nope. But I got it washed. It's good for you. That's how much money Any I got. Any baby clothes? You get some nice new um, baby stuff? Formula? No. No. I bought some video games, pack of gum, went to Chick-fil-A, and I'm saving the rest. Two packs of gum, the label said. One and a half. We one. split it. So, um, so, first of all, let's talk about this, these EPs you put out, mm -hmm. um, which have been fire. Is there a, the one that, obviously, I think, has, has salary cap been getting the most conversation? Uh, I mean, I think everything began a, a conversation in its own way, you know. Uh, uh, ca a Cassius Jones and Body, Body, Body. Uh, they all have in their own little way, actually. But um, it's very Wale when you think about it. It's very complete because you have Body, 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 which is a which is a one lane of Wale. Mm -hmm. Then you have the salary cap and Cassius, which is super Wale because. They're like political and socially aware and sports driven at the same time. It literally is like the all encompassing. It's only what four songs? The all encompassing. It's the all encompassing Wale actually, four songs. That was actually a fantastic way to uh, word that. Well, also I, I've actually listened to both EPs fully on my own, like while no, it, around it, with headphones. It's thirteen minutes. I hope so. But, <laughs> uh, the, the 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 verbiage, if you will, uh, it was very like you know. Well put together. It was eloquent. Thank you. Yes. Um, but yeah. So what? You, you never really explained to me, or I never heard like the strategy. Why did you decide to do just like these little four song joints? I don't think art comes in strategy. I think if art becomes strategy, it's, it's you know it's, it's it's not art anymore. It's something else. It's maybe propaganda or whatever, but but when art comes with strategy, it's not it's no longer art. So these this is just what you were feeling. Ex that's exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna drop some joints and I'm gonna drop some more joints. Exactly. That's just you put it the perfect way two times in a row. You do two for two. Listen right now. Don't... I, now I have my own show on Complex. <laughs> my, my vocabulary is getting better. Your is your 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 the way you put your words together. You you got like bars. I got I got these bars. These bars. Um, did you hear from did you hear from Kaepernick after a salary cap? Um, it, like not directly, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, I, I, I made it more aggressive than like a song that like he could like send to Roger Goodell. Like I wouldn't want him even, to even, you know, mess up his money like that. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? But this is how I feel and how a lot of us feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it, some of those things needed to be said. You know what made me, so the video, you the video on your Instagram, is that an official video no, or? No, nah, just like a little vibe of it. Just a little vibe of like, you know, it's trying, it bring, it's trying to bring my lyrics to life a little bit because I think sometimes like, you need that for self promotion. In that little video, mm -hmm. um, it, I, the, the, I told, I actually saw, uh, I said this to Nessa the other day. I actually got bummed out because it was the first time I'd really watched highlights of him playing in a minute. Because mm -hmm. we're so far removed from even thinking about him as a football player right. that I'm like, yo, Kaepernick was mm -hmm. so nice. Yeah. He is you know, so you, nice. You look at him more of, as, a, as a public figure than right. more so. And it's crazy because he's still in the prime, his, uh, his prime, his athletic prime. But it's the name of the game, man. They don't, you know, they, they got to make their point some way, right? Christian Hackenberg just had just had and lost the job in like the last two weeks, and I was talking to a Jets reporter the other day, who said basically he got picked up by the Raiders and then cut, and basically was like Hackenberg has just no no offense, he just has no NFL skill set. It's just not a reasonable no idea. And I was like, can you make any? Re and we weren't talking Kaepernick, but I just said, is there any reasonable ex explanation for how Christian Hackenberg could get another opportunity? And he's just these reporters, the people who know, will just tell you there's no explanation. That there's no logical explanation besides what we know is the truth right. that could lead to Kaepernick not having a job. Right. And I know, is there any part of you that hurts about it? Because for me, we, you and I talk about the NFL. That was the one of the first things we, you and I ever talked about was our love of the Redskins and the NFL. Mm -hmm. Do, no, it ain't, it's no lie. I mean, I mean, there's a reason it's not logical. It's racist, you know what I'm saying? But it's not logical. 
you know, it's the good old boys club as they call it, like, you know, and everybody, and even if everybody doesn't necessarily agree with it, it's like, you know, you gotta, you gotta stay with the program to protect your, your billions, your millions, your organization, or, or your, your membership to that, that club, so that's just what it is. Are man. you sticking with the NFL? I mean NFL. I got a lot of I got a lot of friends that are in it. Like I have a lot of friends that are that are players and that you know that come from nothing and got it out the mud and this is their way of making a living. I can't I can't blame like you know you know could you could you could you could you date a vegan if you work at Popeyes? You know what I'm saying? Like right, you know, right, right. It's just like it's just where you work. I know where you work is it ain't the but, where, no, but what about where you, I work is crazy. But what about you spending money on the NFL? Like I was thinking about that. The last few years I pay for the NFL ticket. Like oh. should I should not be paying for the NFL ticket at this point. I mean, it's a lot like I said, there's a lot of people that that that, that are playing, like that agree with him, but you know, they might not even be in a position to take the stance he do. Like, you know what I'm saying? I gotta I gotta I gotta still support my people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that joint is dominated by black men. I'm still going to support black men. I am one, you know, and I played football for 12 years. Like, mm -hmm. I always think about what, what would I do in the, in the situation. I, I would probably kneel. And there are people that are still kneeling, but he was the first person to do it, and they they, they resent him for for that reason. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and they're taking it out. They're taking everybody. The anger they got for everybody else is still kneeling out. They're taking that out on, on him. Have you had any frustration? With how dope the Eagles have been as an organization. No, I got it. Gives me hope, actually. Really? It gives me hope. I, don't, I mean, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't have like they didn't stack their roster full of like super duper stars and none of that. They just they just played well and had great coaching. But then they also had Meek as like the, before the Super Bowl, which was an amazing moment. Then their whole thing with Trump was amazing. Like I'm just jealous. I'm I just je I wish I was, I just wish I was an Eagles fan right now. Their I, team is doing the right thing. I think uh, everybody. I mean, uh, I think you know uh, the Cavs ain't going in the White House. Um, well, they're definitely not going to the White House now. Devontae. After the, that four game sweep, they ain't the, going. They the, even the, Trump. Will, even Trump would be like, I'm good. The one black dude on the uh, uh, Capitals ain't going. I don't think. Have the other Cavs spoken yet? I don't know. I don't even know. They don't even know. They probably don't even know what the. Yo, did you watch the cap is. celebration though? It, it, it reminded me that DC could really like they could show out if they want to. They could really like turn up. Like they could really support the teams. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I don't. It, it was very. It was surreal to be to watch CNN and be like, yo, there's a party in the streets and you in DC. You didn't like, go to I was, anything. I couldn't. I was doing radio. Oh, you were already on a. Hmm. She makes it. Not here. Other uh, places. It's doing radio. It just hurt me. Like I was talking to Chris Styles. <laughs> Chris Styles was like, yo, uh, he was like, man, you going to the uh wasn't it? I was like, he was like, nah, I was like, nah, man, I wish. He's like, I was like, you going? He's like, nah, man. And like you can almost like it was like right around the corner outside the jump, and we just like. Oh, you were doing radio in DC. Yes. Well, you were at Chris Styles in DC. Yes. At ninety nine five or what? Uh, at uh, Sirius. Oh, it's, and it, you could see the parade. Yeah, it, like you could just see, <laughs> you could see kids like I'm talking about like like twelve to fourteen just walking down the street in ca all capitals, face paint and everything. I'm just like. Now, question, because I have not, because I've been so removed from DC. Did Black DC get on board Yo, with the yeah, cast? Yeah, it was there. Hey Slim, while we was watching uh, Channel Four, the jump, right? Like and, and like like it was after the, the the last home game we won, and it was like yeah yeah like you could just see like you know all these white folks, and then like it pans to the side, and it's like <laughs> Southeast, we hey we out here, Capitals, we doing? I'm like you know what? Let's go. You know what? I'm I'll take it anyway. <laughs> you get it? I know. I'll take it. I don't care, LeBron. As you watching this, we we ready. We ready to show out. Because what's it? Uh, Will wants it like we we uh, we uh, like we like a something like a second rate sports town or something. Some at this point, something it was. It was weird. Like it was just like it was, like he made it look like our fans don't support. I just think that it's just like you know, there's a lot of politicians, a lot of busy people, and you know, tickets ain't the cheapest. Nope. Uh, the seats know, in the and the, the Capital One Arena are terrible and expensive. It's, 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 it's expensive to, and the seats are bad. It's hard to get. It's hard to get, and you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying. But it's the spirit is there. Like we really care. Like we be mad on Sunday. Like if we lose, skins lose, like we be mad. We go 
they, oh, they they broke it. Redskins fans are broken. Yeah, I broke actually it. think that's part of the reason people were so into the Caps. Because the Redskins have broken people so much that people were ready, so ready yeah. to see a team. At least go to the playoffs every year. Like, you know what I mean? That's what it was. I think, because I mean, it's, it's, it's really, 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 really different. Like, the, the NFL is like the most competitive major sport for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't no plays off, no games off. It's... It's competitive. But so. did you did you follow on social media and see Ovechkin and Oshi and those guys in DC with the cup? Yeah. Like that was I never seen no, anything like that. Money was like they was at the club. Like they were, Oh, they came to play. Oh, I oh you saw them in the club money? Oh, I got to They they've been at the black parties. They though. were they were out everywhere. Yes. 100%. Day, day party, night party. Then, the, the, I'm trying to figure out what tunnel is y'all taking to get around the city like this. Yo, the best thing, I, the, my, my, my favorite highlights were, of course, the keg stand. There's video of Ovi taking the keg stand. But then there's one video of him driving by in a shitty Uber with the Stanley Cup in the back. Yeah. Oh, wow. he, he woke up next to it with a bed. <laughs> like, oh, oh. Like, ew. <laughs> but the thing is, it's like he needed it for, uh, like, well, he wanted it for his his, his legacy. He need, oh yeah, it's, he's he's the best player in the NHL like for years. Is he Wale? And this there's impact to you answering this because you are one of the all time DC celebs at this point. Is Alex Ovechkin the greatest athlete in the history of DC? Are you talking about? Are you talking about like successful? Now, successful? I'm saying the combo of how good he is personally with now getting to the mountaintop because you're talking about a guy who has he could end up. Second to Gretzky for goals, he has two hundred more goals right than Sid Crosby. Alone, alone, that right, that, that's that right there alone. That's like saying somebody is next to Tom Brady with yards or you know what goals. Who got the most touchdown passes in the NFL? All time passes, all time touchdown passes. Like Dan Marino, no, it's Peyton. Now. Peyton, 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 Peyton. So like to say, to say, yo, he's right behind. Uh, Alex or or or, or, or uh, let's say RG three stadium. Like he's right behind. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You you would say he's the because he, he's one of the best in the ever to play. Right. First ballot, everything. So you gotta say that. And and then it's hard when you go through the list of teams. To be honest, like my wife and I have been discussing this a lot with the Redskins. It's hard to pick a Redskin. Had Sean Taylor lived, well then maybe Sean Taylor, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, for sure. But there's other ones but like you know that NFL stuff enough. Daryl Green but, is where he comes up, but Daryl's tough because he's a cornerback. It's just like you can't be a you, star. You can't, you can't be, be the a, guy. You know, okay. no promise trying to keep with like. No, I mean, and in the players with the you know like the the running backs and the quarterback thing, they, they don't last long in the NFL, and they will never last. They will never, there will never be nobody who's great for more than ten years for the rest of our lives. It does, it's too much. NFL too much. It's way more aggressive. Everybody's fast. Everybody's strong. You don't know what who's taking what. It'll never be like that ever again, ever. So if you think it's somebody gonna play cornerback for fifteen years in the NFL as of now, hey, hell no. Yeah, it's hard to ever imagine. It's not that. gonna happen no more. The funny part is. We had, we could have had back to back the two best. Champ was there for, yeah, was there yeah. and then left. I mean, didn't we, didn't we get, oh, they yeah, were we together. Border, we they were actually together yeah. for a year or two. Yeah. There was that one year where it was Dion, Champ Bailey, and Daryl Green mm -hmm. in the same secondary. But then that ended. Um, <laughs> what's so, so now that you have the, the label, do we know what's next? I know you're not big on strategy right now, but do you know what's next music wise? Uh, just making more music. I'm I'm really in album mode now, and I never really go, I never leave the house when, when I'm on album mode. I just make music, uh, but now I'm just in complete album mode right now. So let me ask you the real behind the scenes lifting up the curtain question. So you're in album mode. Yeah. You don't seem particularly thrilled to be doing radio at this point. I'm thrilled. I'm great. I'm happy to be here. But was it why now? Is it to announce that? Is it to announce the label deal? Why doesn't it feel like I'm thrilled to be here? <laughs> you, you're yeah. warming up. You're getting there. No, I came in here. I was, I was, you ask me questions about wrestling. I don't. I've never watched wrestling. You keep before. saying you don't watch wrestling, which means lets me know something weird's going on. What do you mean? You love wrestling. You're one of the biggest. You're one of the biggest wrestling fans I, I know. Have no idea what you're talking about. Like I, 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 I can't. Do you even remember. recognize who's on my shirt right now? No idea. What is that? Um. Uh, this is one of the most the, rare shirts. There that's is. the uh, Ghostbusters dude. Yeah, it's the Mars, the the, the, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Oh, uh, 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 the uh, the Michelin one of them, right? Michelin Man. If Ebro was here, I would definitely be asking. He would definitely be asking you about the following: Kanye, Pusha vs. Drake. What else would? What else is our rotation right now? Trump. Trump, Trump maybe. Okay. 
Uh, definitely Kanye. My guess is you don't want to do those things. Uh, um, what things? Those those topics. I'm guessing you're not that into those. Uh, no, I mean, I don't, I don't, what's happening with the, what's happening? See, exactly. So what I was going to say was, the very least, we could talk wrestling, but now you're telling me you don't watch wrestling. I'm, this is, uh, dark, dark, the number one hip-hop station, right? We talk about hip-hop all okay. day. Okay, okay. Um, fair yeah. enough. That being said, then. I was, I don't know, I want to know what these topics are. Okay, I'm going to fill you in. Um, very quickly, because uh, apparently someone has to get in here also. Um, did you enjoy, there was a feud, there was a rap feud. Feud. I'm not talking wrestling, we're talking rap now, it's confusing. I don't know the latter, but the former, of course. Absolutely. Rap you get. Yeah, I understand. Okay, this. there was a feud between Pusha T, a rapper from, you probably met him, he's from Virginia, so. Yeah. Um, I against couple. Drake, who okay. I know you know, you guys came out around the same time. Who's the, okay, the, the guy. Degrassi. With the, the guy with the thing. The guy with the thing. They had a battle, back yeah. and forth, there were yeah. songs. Yes. And people enjoyed it. Were you someone who enjoyed it? I, I mean, I didn't. I didn't even know that there was beefing. Bro. Literally, did, did or they not? Get, did they get in into a fight? No, there was no fist fight. Oh no, no I didn't even know. Okay. Um, then follow up question. Um, Kanye West has released an album. Uh, well, he's released several albums. A Pusha T album he produced. Okay. Um, the uh, his own album called Yay. Yeah. Seven songs. An album with Cuddy called Kid See Ghost. And tonight he'll be dropping one with Nas. What's the Nas album called? We don't know the name yet, still. Just a list of words on a board, but we don't know the name. Have you checked in on any of the Kanye music? Nas is one of the best MCs. You have, you know Nas. I know Nas is a great. He's on the he's on the computer right there. That's right. That's him. That's my guy. I like I like that guy. That dude is <laughs> awesome. I I mean, I I've heard everybody you mentioned. It just I I heard of everybody. I'm excited to hear new music from Nas. He's one of the greatest MCs of all time. Why wouldn't anybody be excited to hear that? Absolutely. Yeah. Is not where does where is Nas for you though? Is he he's the tippy top for you? He's at the very season Mount Rushmore for sure. Hoves in your Mount Rushmore. Of course. Nas in your Mount Rushmore. And that's probably we gotta stop because that's it's, when, it's, it's interchangeable. Because, right. You gotta you gotta get a good architect. Thought what about Black Thought? Yeah, he's got money's adding. He gotta be up there. He, he thought's an interesting one because sometimes people have him very high, and then some people leave him out altogether. I don't understand that. I can explain because I am someone who's left out Black Thought before. I'll admit it right now. I'll say it right now. Thought is me out all the time. Continue. Exactly. I leave other great rappers out too. But the, you, it's not you about being great. But the thought is different because thought to me, I love his raps, but I haven't loved a body of work enough for me to put him with. The other ones for me personally. Tell us more, Rosenberg. So, what? No, 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 please just let. Because of the roots. So yeah, that's. Just, I'm not a rapper though. Rappers see Black Thought differently. I had this conversation with him last week. <sighs> rappers see Black Thought as they understand. I think rappers understand. My eyes hurt. I think rappers understand Black Thought in a way that fans don't understand him. To be totally honest with you, but for me, in my top ten, he ends up hovering. It's very close, but it's tough. I don't know who he replaces. For me, mm. money. Do you want to do, we want to do this interview? Just me and you. <laughs> we can have this conversation. I think it should be tremendous. I just want to say, please say it. The roots have classic projects. Agreed. And then things fall apart is my favorite one. He's probably. the rapper in those projects. So let's just move on and enjoy our Thursday. It is. Good. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. All right. So how do you think? How do you feel about SmackDown being on Fox? Ah, wrestling. So wait, you're familiar. It's um, a TV show called SmackDown. <laughs> um, I think it's interesting. I'm, I'm more interested in it being live on Fridays. To me, that's going to be very interesting. Do you hold any merit on the very first episode, like being like phenomenal booking everything, the people in the crowd, like celebrities and all that? Is that a thing that's happening? I was thinking that somebody should, connected to the company should say something about About it. that. But it's far away still, right? It's like a year, isn't it? No, Stanford's right there. No, I mean the... Anyways, bing! His name is Wale. He, if you have not checked out the EPs, self-promotion and it's complicated. I'm getting good at this. I'm getting good at this. I don't know why you do it with me, though. Like, because it's, it's, it's like playing Madden on all Madden. It's the hardest level. No, I'm the easiest. No, you're not. Oh, Yo, yes, I am. I'm here Bro. by myself. I will, all I would have done if you've been like, "Yo, let's do Look, 40 minutes this of wrestling." This is how he flips it to be like, "Oh man, I'm gonna, 
don't know what I'm doing. What just, happened? He just, showed up and I said, you want to talk about wrestling? He went, what's wrestling? What, what am I supposed to do? I know wrestling. That's the one in the Olympics when they... <laughs> okay, I hate the you. Greco don't wrestling. buy ZP, by the way. If you have it, delete it and hide it on your <laughs> iTunes so the cloud doesn't even come up. Download it first and then do whatever you want with it. Nah, it's and know the words when you get to the show. Self-promotion, the EP, and it's complicated. What's the, more what's the single called, Rosenberg? Uh, I... I uh, is body, body, body uh, uh, the single? Uh, ba, ba, da, ka, ba, da. I don't play the single. You know me. I'm playing salary cap. I don't cap. play the single, but I work at radio. I play salary cap. What do you want me to do? That's what I play. Ladies, I only pick on Sunday nights. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say that Peter Rodenberg is the greatest person on radio right what, now. What is the single? Body, body, body? The single. and you. It's Black body. Oh Black my body. gosh. It's getting crazy. In this here. is falling apart. Black body's from It's Complicated. All things fall apart. So you apart. guys are pushing the record from the last EP. But I have. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I don't work for the label. I don't give a fuck. I play my <laughs> songs. <laughs> and by the way. Hey listen man. I, just, I go through this at every radio station. I give you a hard time because you my friend and all that. It's, I take it for it's, everybody. And it's also a lot of traffic going. It's a lot happening in this rap thing right now. True. It's a lot. It's just crazy. It gives me anxiety just to think about it. I know. It. I, I, I can see when you walked in you were not in it today and I feel bad because you and I could have had a good I'm in thing. It. I don't I don't know what the it is. I love you guys. I love Honey 7. I love but New I don't York know why City. You're so stressed to New come York here. City. This is like this is home. We love you. Well, I love you. On your Hot 97 every, every day. day that's, that's my, my word. word. No, it's my word. It's my word right, today. Goodbye word. <laughs>